Hello, and welcome to Genovate, your home for AI tutorials and guides. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to transform your nano banana images with stunning overlays, name tags, and annotations. Fast. Let's get started. We are going to begin our tutorial with this base image of a Whopper with cheese sandwich from Burger King. And I have created this using Nano Banana in Google Gemini. I have used and uploaded this image to Google Gemini as my reference image to make sure that I have the uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio throughout this tutorial. So let's get started. I have uploaded the image here and we are going to begin with the following prompt. Add a modern and trendy nutritional facts badge overlay on the top upper corner indicating the total number of calories and the basic ingredients as well as the weight of fat, carbs and protein in the Whopper burger with cheese. This is what we've gotten back. And as you can see here, this is exactly what we've asked for. Nutritional facts ba badge. Uh, this is a Whopper with cheese, total calories. Now, the information here is may not be accurate. Um, if you use Google Gemini, it will consult the um, its resources in order to come up with the information. So you have to always check this information. You can specific, be very specific in telling um, uh, Nano Banana what information you want, but I just relied on the available information. Uh, as you can see, it's gotten everything exactly as it should. It has given us the fat, has missed the carbs, and it has given us the protein. It has also captured all the key ingredients of the burger. Now we're going to take things uh, a notch up and we're going to say now add a large Coke next to the burger. And as you can see, Nano Banana has done exactly that with the nutritional fact badge still there and the Coke uh, can here. Next, we're going to uh, spice things up a little bit. Now we're going to create a call out. Now, those callouts are extremely useful when you're doing illustrations, and they are specifically very useful when you're, when you're doing motion graphics. And we're going to take an example at the very end of this video of how to actually take one of your nano banana images and animate it in VO. So here we're going to say create a callout pointing to the Coke and indicate the amount of calories. And this is what Nano Banana came back with. Now, this is not right. It has the correct um, call out, but the arrow is obviously pointing in the wrong direction. So sometimes you need to be very specific. And let me tell you how I have corrected this issue. So I, I said, first I tried to change the angle of the call out arrow to the right to point to the Coke can. Now, it looks like once the image is created, it has no understanding of where this arrow is pointing. So I cannot now say change this arrow to point here. Maybe you can, but not with this prompt for sure. So what I've said, I said, it looks like the Coke is in a cup, not a can. I have adjusted the call out arrow to point to the cup. So it is correcting me. All right. But it hasn't really done anything here. So I asked it to remove the call out altogether. And then I've asked uh, for the following prompt. I said, now add a call out at the bottom right of the image pointing at the Coke and indicating total calories. So again, being very specific on the position and the pointer of the call out reference to the object that I want to uh, target. And now it has exactly done what I've asked for. It has now the nutritional facts here and it has the Coke cup with the names. This is a large Coke, obviously with 280 calories. Now I'm going to take this even a notch further and I'm going to say now create a trendy text box at the lower left corner of the image, indicating the total calorie count of the meal, the Whopper in the image and the Coke in the image. And now it has done exactly that. Total meal, 1020. Now it has, you'll notice that it has added the 740 to the 280 to come up with this. 
I have not included the total. So there is definitely some intelligence that goes into the formation of these images, which is very, very cool and very powerful. Okay, so now I said I want to update this little box here, and I said uh, update the text box in the lower left to read total meal energy, and then on the second line, 1020 calories. And now it has come back with exactly what I've asked for, only the word energy kind of, you know, it kind of it looks out of the box. So I, I had the option of either making the box a little bigger and changing the text or just uh, remove the word energy. So that's what I've chosen to do. And here is our final image now with the name, with the nutritional fact badge, the total meal calories and the large Coke with a call out all integrated and overlaid on the image. All right, now we're gonna take this example here of this picture that I've also uh, created with Nano Banana of a news anchor. And this time around, we're gonna say, we wanna add a breaking news overlay at the bottom of the page that run across the entire width of the image. It reads breaking news in large font. Below the overlay, add another overlay with a slightly smaller text that reads, floods force residents to evacuate their homes and seek nearby shelters. Let's take a look at the result. And it has pretty much respected the prompt. It hasn't created this as a scrolling text that takes the full width of the image. I don't think that it understood this very well. Uh, I think that the prompt needs to be given in a different way but you can see how the overlay is really, really cool. This looks like, you know, professional studio material, breaking news in red. And notice that I have not specified the color red. It automatically interpreted that breaking news. This is what is the norm. And it has used the norm in order to come up with this. And now you have the overlay here, breaking news and exactly the text that I've asked for. And by the way, folks, those prompts, everything that you've seen here, you can go and run into Google Whisk. Google Whisk is again free, but the caveat is in Google Whisk, you will need to specify the exact, for example, in the burger example, you'll have to specify exactly what the ingredients are and what the numbers are. There is no intelligence uh, or information gathering when it comes to Google Whisk. It only creates um, images. So that's something to watch out for. All right, so now we've seen how we can create uh, call outs, we can create uh, like information badges, and now we can also do here those overlays. Now I'm gonna take you to this example that is a really, really cool example of uh, sticky notes. So you can add actually sticky notes to your images. These are all overlaid and they are they have text on them. So you can write anything, you can scribble on them, you can do whatever you want. And uh, those collages, of course, are, this is not something I've added, but the prompt added them. Uh, I think I just need to specifically say that I don't want any callouts, but you can see those sticky notes. The original image had no um, sticky notes, but I added those later. Let me show you another example here of a, um, a sticky note example. Here we have created this image, and this is also contains a futuristic name tag for our captain here, Cap Captain Faisal Mohammed, the Q8 Aviation. He's a senior captain. Now, I went through a lot of changes with this one, so let me go back and show you how I started with this one. So here, this is the original image, and I just said add a professional and modern title overlay on the left center side of the image that has the captain name. Uh, as you can see here, Faisal Mohammed, the airline, Q8 Aviation, and rank senior captain. And this is what I got back from Nano Banana, as you can see. It said change the overlay style to a more modern and trendy style. And now it's changed this slightly, just changed kind of the colors. I don't really look, look like that. So I said, make the overlay futuristic. And now it has created this futuristic title here of the captain. And then I said, make the overlay a circle with the double teal edges. And that's the 
uh, circle there with the double teal edges, uh, which is pretty cool. And then I said, place the text inside the circle and remove the rectangular shape. And that's exactly what it's done. And I just really love how powerful Nano Banana is when editing. So it's not just really creating the image, but actually adding your overlays and making edits, uh, changing the text, all with uh, simple prompts. So this was the final image here. And then I also added a sticky note to show you exactly how it works. So here I said, add blue sticky note at the far top right corner that reads, I am a sticky note. And as you can see here, it has placed the sticky note exactly where I have asked for it to be and with the exact text. And here, what I've done is I created an information card for London in the United Kingdom. So here the prompt says, create a high resolution 169 modern um, information card for London United Kingdom style like a premium travel dashboard or airline destination card. The design should be creative, vibrant, and easy to read. By the way, I think this is not a very good way. Uh, I think I should be more specific. But then I gave it the layout, which it has somehow respected. Uh, horizontal 16.9 format, split panel or layered card layout with glass, morphism panels, gradients, and bold accent colors, royal blue, deep red, white, and gold inspired by the UK flag. And after I created this, it has created this information card of the United Kingdom. And it, just notice how it really followed my prompt. It hasn't really gotten the time, but everything else is pretty much spot on. Uh, again, the location of London is not exact here on the map, uh, but it, it has followed the um, exact information in the prompt. London, United Kingdom, capital of the UK, gateway to Europe. You've got the temperature there, the population, the main highlights, the coordinates, the cultural notes, and the uh, little uh, uh, QR code there that you can scan. I haven't really tried scanning it, but it doesn't look like something that can be scanned. Okay, so here's how you do an information card. In this example, um, this is actually a very, very cool um, example of how you can use annotations and highlights in your images. Now, I started with the very first image here. I said, uh, create an aspect, 69 aspect ratio, modern infographic style image of an open document on a sleek digital tablet. The document shows reveal paragraphs of text, use vibrant yellow neon lights over three important sentences to clearly demonstrate text highlighting. Now, this is what it came back with. It did not respect the 169 aspect ratio, by the way. And, and by the way, you can take this prompt just exactly as it is and copy it into Google Whisk and it will create some very, very high quality stuff. But you can see here, this is the uh, quick brown fox jumps over the uh, lazy dog, which is the kind of famous thing you'll see uh, in text examples. And you can see that it has respected exactly the prompt by creating and highlighting the important text. I then said to create a 16 aspect ratio ultra realistic photograph of a single sheet of paper lying flat on a one wooden desk. The paper contains several printed paragraphs of black text in a clean serif font. Then I've asked it to highlight the three colors and in yellow uh, and it has uh, obviously highlighted this. Now, what this means, guys, is you can actually scan a document into um, into a, a Nano Banana, upload it there, and then you can actually start editing, highlighting, and annotating directly on your scanned image. Here is an example of uh, a better, you know, this is, I think, a better use of it here. I'm just highlighting in yellow, highlighting in green, and in blue just to kind of show you guys how this works. In my last example here, uh, I'd like to show you something that I was, uh, I, I really like this example a lot. And this is here, it, it, the prompt was a very simple prompt. I just said, create a whiteboard with mathematical formulas on it and add sticky notes in different colors. And as you can see now, it has put all the sticky notes there in different shapes and different colors. Uh, on the whiteboard. What I'd like to do now is I want to show you one image that I have created of uh, Gen uh, our, our ambassador, Sam. Um, and I have created an image with a futuristic 
a, a name title. And I, w I went to VO3 and I said, I want you to animate it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results. All right. So this is the image of Sam that I created using, uh, again, Nano Banana. And uh, as you can see here, uh, it says Genovate here, Sam Hastings, Genovate Ambassador. And let's go ahead and play this and take a listen. Did you see that? Hello, Did you see how the title actually rotated once and then it disappeared from the view? Very, very cool. And this is something Hello, that you can do uh, with very simple prompting. So if you guides. click here on the actual, uh, this is the actual um, uh, prompt Genovate, there. And uh, I just simply said, guides. I want the uh, holographic badge pulse faintly. And so this, this is the Hello, beginning, a close up of Sam Genovate Ambassador seated AI in a modern office. Guides. The camera is positioned at eye level, capturing his upper torso and face Hello, clearly. At the start of the clip, a glowing AI holographic name guide. badge with the text Sam Hastings Genovate Ambassador slides Hello, smoothly in for, uh, in, form, uh, um, in, in from the left side of the frame. It didn't really do that. Hovering Hello, near his chest, the badge Genovate. is styled Your as a futuristic neon um, interface with subtle reflections and soft glow. Hello. As he begins speaking, the bat gently rotates. So Vio actually understood that this is the uh, badge in question just from its shape, from the image. And the final thing that you saw after it finished its rotation, uh, as it says, is the holographic badge pulse, pulses faintly in sync with his speech for extra futuristic flair. And then obviously it has uh, gone as, as he neared the end of the speech, the uh, the tag also uh, goes away from, from view. And you can actually just leave it there. So you can make it there. You can have it in different styles. You can really experiment with this. Uh, you can have a lot of different uh, styling. I'm not very, I'm not really an expert in creating, you know, styles, but I thought this was really good. Uh, considering my, you know, very humble uh, graphical experience. But this works, and I think the results are very good. You can really experiment with anything now uh, with uh, with Nano Banana, uh, Google Whisk, and Vio. I think those three are the formidable um, uh, combination there uh, that is really going to change uh, the entire scene here when it comes to generative uh, AI. Well, this brings us to the conclusion of our short uh, tutorial today. I hope that you have found this useful and insightful. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.